So I was right. Retribution weekend. Retribution weekend. Retribution weekend. It happened. It happened. I told you it would happen, and it did. We got Harbaugh ball going now. Ooh. Yeah, how do you feel about Ooh. that, Kip Cooper? Z's. Z's, oh, by the man. way, uh, this is Buzz Birch. Kip Cooper. Kipper Cooper. Kipper Cooper. 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 Yeah, anyway, well, uh, this is unsportsmanlike conduct. We're welcome. here to, yeah, welcome. Welcome, welcome to, to the show. Uh, the welcome show. to the program. We break down all, everything football. Um, in other sports, but you know, in this segment, just the just the football, just the football program. this time. We're talking about the playoffs. Yeah, we're talking conference about conference championships. Just happened Retribution yeah. Weekend, and we're gonna look at the Pro Bowl as well. Retribution Weekend. Yeah, Pro Bowl not often considered a real game, but we're gonna talk about it. I like the Pro Bowl. It's in it's, Honolulu it's again this year. It should be a pretty yeah. good game, you know. I mean, oh, well, you know, it should be a game. It's the last. It's, it's the last game. morsel of football that before, we have. That we have. So so you gotta watch Soak it, it as a football Soak enthusiast. Soak it up. Uh, but right, let's let's recap the retribution weekend. Retribution. As, uh, I tagged weekend. it last week, and so it happened. Um, I mean, where do you want to start? Let's start mm, Atlanta. But, but yeah, let's yeah? start with let's start with the early let's game. Let's start in Atlanta. In, we're in Atlanta. What it, happened? Atlanta is playing beautifully. It it looks like. The kipper is going. His prediction is going to come true, and Tony Gonzalez is going to be in New Orleans. And then the second half happened, and yeah. and it just looked like no. no then the second quarter happened. <laughs> the first quarter, just like last uh, the week before, all Falcons they yeah. jump out to a seventeen nothing lead. Uh, apparently, no lead is too big for the Falcons to surrender. Yeah, they can blow any lead. It doesn't matter. It doesn't how big. matter how big it is. They will find a way to blow it. Yeah, and you want to know why? Why? Tell me. Let me tell you why. Um, I called this as my piece of shit last week, uh, POS, where we talk about who's going to be the worst. Uh, it basically happened. Burner Turner. Yeah, he's uh, junk. Had junk. And when you have a 17-point lead, how do you win the game? Well, you run out the clock. You control the clock. You basically yeah. you run. They have two running backs there. One's a vet, Burner Turner. They also have that Jack Wiz Rogers, who's like a you know, speed guy. Uh, He's a change of pace. Change I would, of pace. I wouldn't say. I mean, if you want him yeah. on your speed, fantasy I guess, team, that's fine. I shouldn't fine, say but speed guy. Speed guy, comparatively. Yeah, burner to is burner not a burner. Turner. He is more like the sluggish Turner. Yeah. Um. So burner Turner, eight carries for thirty yards. You got to do better than that in the conference championship the conference, in your hometown. Yeah. What was that? He was not doing the dirty bird in the end zone. He was definitely not. He was just being dirty out there. He yeah. He was. A, he was basically a dirty bird. He was like a pigeon. Uh, you were completely correct with your yeah, piece of shit analysis of uh, Michael the Burner Turner. Yeah, I, I totally saw that coming. And they, it, so they couldn't seal it. San Francisco comes back from 17 down. Uh, Atlanta doesn't score at all in the second half. Kaepernick looked... It, you could tell by the, the feeling in the stadium, as soon as it was like getting close, that everyone in Atlanta knew... That they couldn't stop Kaepernick. They knew once I think, uh, I mean, it was the second quarter. They're up 17 nothing, and they still looked like they weren't sure though, that they were going to win. And everyone in the stadium, once the Niners scored the first one, you, you could just see it on their faces. They knew it was another collapse. Well, every oh, everyone in Atlanta knew except for one guy, Julio Jones. He, he was he trying went, to make it happen, he, Julio. He, yeah. and, so Tony Gonzalez also had a real solid game. Tony uh, had a touchdown. Um, yeah, but Julio Jones, oh, I mean, we're talking 11 catches. Circus catches. 182 he was yards. Blanketed. And two touchdowns. Where's Roddy White? Where well, Roddy White was he, in the, he was there. He had a hundred yards himself. But where is he? Where is he in the second half? He was still. I mean, these yeah, guys. Where was t- where was Julio Jones in the second half? The problem wasn't the receivers. It was Matt crying. And I watched the game. I'm telling you now, from watching him, because I, I watched him. Must have he, he threw overthrew. Every time, every time he threw it to Jack was Rogers, he threw it two feet over well, his head. He cannot throw it to anyone besides these two Pro Bowl receivers, perennial receivers, and Hall of Fame and tight Hall end. Hall of Fame tight end. That is why Matt Crime's numbers are so good. It's not his arm. It's not Matty Ice in his veins. It's simply who plays Great around receivers. him. Because watch it. I'm telling you, check the game tape. Check if you, the game tape. And watch it next year because now you won't get to see him. Um, Watch it. He's I'm not telling. Go, he he's not gonna be in the Pro, Pro Bowl. Bowl. He's he's hurt. They he, hurt him. But he was every time he threw it to to Jack was Roger. It was. I mean, he had, bad screen. Bad. 
He doesn't just know. Just bad. He can't throw it. And same thing to Douglas. I mean, he can't throw he it to anyone besides those guys. It's like he knows how to play to a certain point, but some of the fundamentals just aren't there for Matt Crying. Yeah. But, I mean, you, have to, know, hold, still, you have to give it up to San, good, San Francisco's yeah. defense. I mean, they're the yeah. best defense in the league, and they prove have proved it week in and week out, and they proved it again. This, yeah, this well, especially run defense. So again, in the air, they kind of got you know burned, but it hasn't really been their forte but the Turner, whole game. Turner getting know, such low run, numbers, yeah, you have to exactly. give it That's to Pat why, Willis and Alden Smith, of course. Navarro Bowman. These guys that was are the difference was play the running makers. game. The running game was the difference because Matt Ryan still threw for three touchdowns and almost 400 yards, 396. And uh, we talked about how good Julio was. Gonzalez and Roddy White all finished great. The too difference little, too was late. just the running. Too little, too late. The running. Gore, on the other hand, uh, two touchdowns himself. I started Frank Clutch. Gore for... Clutch touchdowns. Yeah, Frank Gore for glory. This is, I'm glad, still happening. The guy deserves this because he's been on a shit team in San Francisco for as long as a he's decade. been there. A, a, see, nearing a decade. Nearing a decade. They turned it around last year once Harbaugh got there, but he had to suffer through, and he was fed the rock. Everyone knew it was him. He was the only player on that team for quite some time, That, and he took a lot of hits. And it's, you know, for a running back, you don't have too many years. This is probably... It's getting well, near it's, the this end. This is getting near the end, so I'm I'm hoping for Frank a Gore valuable, for glory. You know, I mean, he's a great running back, and uh, you know he suffered in a for the most part crap franchise. So this is great for him. He finished Class 90 act. yards, 21 21 carries, so you know almost four and a half yards per carry. He finished great. Niners looked good. Yeah, Atlanta. Rolling. What the hell do they do now? This is uh, Every year, they, they look like the best team, well, record-wise. Um, this is what they... One of the better teams, and then they've... And the playoffs come, and I know they won against Seattle the first one, but they... That was They a tried fluke. to give it away. They, they, they should have lost that game. Are they... Let me ask you, Kipper Cooper. Tell me, Buzz. Do they decide that maybe they'd rather have a draft pick than win the Super Bowl. Like, are they? I feel like they're trying to lose. Do they know, so they know something know. No about team. like the 27th pick? No, no team. Maybe they know something that no one else knows <laughs> and that they're like, oh, wait, we better flop this year. We got to get... I, no. The way they've done it, it <laughs> the problem is, is they're not playoff hardened. Um, all of their v- soft. All of their veterans are like guys like Tony Gonzalez, who have only been there a couple that's of times. Interesting. Point. So like the vets that if have, that's who they're looking to in the playoffs for hope. What yeah, does they he don't know. know. About playoff yeah, wins? what does Matt Ryan know? Well, he knows that he's lost every game except for one fluke yeah. to Seattle. I mean, <laughs> that's I, a you, good point. You can't blame Atlanta. I mean, and their coach is the same way. Well, he hasn't won anything either. He hasn't won anything either. There's no playoff presence. No, but they need to... Asante Samuels, I guess, like... But but he's him (laughs) being your playoff presence is like Deion Sanders being your playoff presence. The dude basically gets handed around. I mean, he's a premier player, but he's not a a locker room leader. He's not a leader by any... I mean, he's a fantastic player. Maybe a borderline Hall of Fame. Leader on the field, but... But who? But not someone who rallies the troops in that situation, and they do need a veteran presence. Maybe they can trade for someone next year or look in free agency. I mean, like guys like Abraham's, like they're in the same boat. The only times he's ever been to the playoffs, he's lost. You think uh, what? What kind of window does Mike Smith have now? I say, um, if he year? loses in the playoffs next year, early. If they Another go to the same thing. point, I think they keep him. But if he goes out there and. And just duds it up in the first round, you th- or you think Gonzalez comes back? I think that he has unfinished business. The I man will so be too. back. I don't see why he doesn't. He is coming off of a Pro Bowl year. The guy looks great. He played. He played well in the playoffs. He's he's a fantastic player. I mean, you can't dispute that. No, he just met the wrong team on the wrong so day. Right. With, with I think the momentum's pa- a crazy thing, and San Francisco yeah. had it. You know, sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't. In Atlanta, they didn't have it, but th- that wasn't the only. Game was it? That wasn't. The there only was another game. game. Another one. It wasn't as close as what any of us thought. I thought it was going to be a fantastic game. Turned out I mean, to be a junk game. A junk game. The whole whole game almost in the junk drawer. Yeah. Basically, the second half for New England junk Kaput. drawer. Uh, to go. By the way, going into that game, Tom Brady, uh, when leading at home, in at, at halftime. Tell me. Sixty-seven and zero. That is like greatest of all time type numbers. And and then and then what did he do? He went out there and flopped. He, yeah, I mean it was like last year's Super Bowl. He went no out there. No points in the second half. He looked scared. The first they had the, the ball like in Baltimore's zone, 
the first four drives and they could only get field goals. They got like a lucky touchdown because Wes Welker trying to reverse the Wes Welker curse was playing his arse off. Basically. So, I mean, the Patriots, Tom Brady did not look special. Tom Brady looked old. The dynasty's over. They looked outplayed. The Ravens, uh, the though. The Ravens' defense, really. Credit the Ravens. The- uh, came together. I mean, stopping now Denver, a very yeah. potent offense. And the Patriots. And now the Patriots. Two of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, back-to-back, and you beat them. That is... That's saying that's a, something. That's a great run. Uh, I like Ray Lewis going out on top like this. That's also pretty cool. Darth Lewis. He's still Darth is rocking Lewis. the... No cape yet. Super Bowl. But we got two weeks. Maybe Radio Row. Maybe when we're down in New Orleans, we'll see him wearing a cape. That's we'll ask him about it, and we'll yeah, get back we're gonna, to you on it. we but... get to see him next week when we go down to New Orleans. We'll be at the game. Kipper Cooper and Buzz Birch. Yeah, check uh, it bring out. Bringing the rod, lightning rod. He'll be here as well. Uh, it's going to be good stuff. Well. It's going to be good but stuff. back here online with us, too. I'm bringing a bunch of beads, ladies. Wow. <laughs> it is in New Orleans. Um, watch out for Kip Cooper if you're in Louisiana at all. <laughs> But anyway, keeping keeping with the keeping with the conference the, championship, football, actual conference championship. Um, Tom Brady, he went out. Basically, they 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 yeah. passed the whole time. Joe Flacco, almost. yeah, he uh, he got out Flacco'd. He got out. Quite Flacco'd. frankly, he threw two picks. Um, Flacco, pretty awesome. Twenty one for thirty six, two forty yards, three touchdowns. I was completely wrong. Uh, do not, if you bet on Vegas by what Kip Cooper says, I am uh, so yeah, sorry. Yeah, make your apology now. You should have listened to Buzz Birch. He called Retribution yeah, Weekend. He, totally. I was completely wrong. I thought Atlanta had it. Nope. I thought the Patriots surely had it at home. Nope. Well, they were the home team. Both the, games the, both looked of them the came same. Out, they came out flat. Absolutely, you're they right. They came out kind of flat, but still got the advantage just based on the home team. Yeah. And then when both it, of them, then when momentum reared its ugly head, the Ravens were too tough to stop. And same with, same with the Falcons. 49ers. Just didn't, they just have nothing going on for them as Low far as like confidence. They have. I, that's, all right, Bobo, it won't be the most boring Super Bowl. I, well, if it's anything like last year's meeting, actually. Six to three. Six to three, the ball. But the, we'll Ravens get into that next it. week when we're down there. Yeah. Right now, we're just going to kick, we're kicking we're back. We're kicking it back. Hawaii is this week. Pro Bowl is what we're we're looking at this, this I week. I love the Pro Bowl. Uh, but, well, actually, I want to quickly stop you before we oh, talk about how oh. nice and sunny Hawaii is. Just okay. just real quick, I want okay. the Kipper's thoughts on, uh, well, Belichick came out and said he's going to be back next year. Yes. Regardless, and everyone probably hates it. What about Brady? When does he call it quits? And Peyton Manning. I mean, also him. Um, Both of them now I, losing. I, what? Peyton Manning. These vets, do they hang it up soon? I, I think that they're dinosaurs in the league, but I do not think that they're hanging it up by no means. I think that the Patriots might part ways with Brady soon. Much like the Colts did with Peyton with Manning, Peyton, or like a Joe Montana type situation. Yeah, like as I well. don't like. I think that t- Tom Brady definitely can get any team to the playoffs next year without a doubt of roster. He can. He's that good still. Same with Peyton Manning. Right, but I know you're saying the Super Bowl is another but, thing. But the Super Bowl is another. You need thing. a team around you to do that. Well, Tom Brady's never really had a running back. This was the first year they kind of had a no, running they, team. They had Corey Dillon for a few yeah, years. Yeah, but that, that were, was not you know it was working out for him. It wasn't a John Elway with Terrell Davis well, type thing. No, I mean it's still you know Corey Dillon. Yeah, but. Like, that was as you're right. That was as good as Tom Brady's ever. Gotten. And he's never had the greatest receipt. I mean, he had Randy. He Moss. He had Randy Moss, but he didn't have him throughout his whole career. He had him you're for right. like a short span. Oh yeah, and it was really a lackluster year for Moss too that year. Yeah, that connect that really didn't work well, at all. You're right. That it was totally just the, worked. The, the 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 he was so old he couldn't even get open that year. Well, I mean, he wasn't <laughs> old, but I mean, he didn't have the longevity that Jerry Rice oh, Montana yeah. had. He or, only had a record setting year. That was like his greatest season. They had him in like basically the end of his prime. I know what you're saying it wasn't like they had a youthful Randy Moss. But Randy they Moss still is had still him kicking at the end it of his now, prime. and he's in the Super Bowl. He's in the Super Bowl, and again. Tom Brady's not. Yeah, I think that's the storyline. You think? Well, all right. So Randy Moss, you think this is it? You think he gets his Super Bowl? I I think okay. Or is regardless, he by the by the time the season ends after the Super Bowl. The only two players that are retiring, Randy Moss and Ray Lewis. You think Randy Moss goes? Hey, if he gets, do you think he? If he loses, he will not want to come back, and if he wins, he won't want to. Come he back. won't come back. 
gets to go out like Strahan. Same or, with uh, uh, Ray Lewis. So, yeah. Yeah, or Ray Lewis, right? Hoping to be one of those guys to join that Well, both of those guys. That's what makes it such an intriguing Super Bowl. (laughs) It should be good, but we're not going to talk about it. We're going to wait. We're waiting. We're holding off. We're holding off until we get to New Orleans. The big game. The big game. Even bigger than the Super Bowl, some might say. Gigantic. Not me, or like anyone I know, but... Oh, I, I put big money down. Oh, yeah. This is the real Vegas treat is uh, the Pro Bowl. The Pro Bowl. Yeah, with those stellar rosters that are picked by popularity and commercials. Yeah, I, I just, I, <laughs> if you can do a discount double check, apparently you can go into the Pro yeah, Bowl regardless like of that. seasons. Something like that. Well, Aaron Rodgers had a good season himself, but let's, I want to point out a couple guys that made the Pro Bowl in spite of. Well, in spite of yeah. themselves. In spite. In spite of themselves. That's the only way of putting it. Because the play, obviously, whoever voted for him, uh, oppo- opposing, Popularity opposing players, fans, and then a little bit, I think, goes by like uh, like AP. Yeah. Like a small percentage goes by like actual, actual- like scouts. That's what it is. It's scouts. I think a third scouts, a third fans, and a third current players. None of them actually are numbers. And the current by the players, way. by the way, the players who vote can only vote for those oppose on like the opposing side. So they can't vote for themselves. Well they can't vote for themselves. They can't vote, vote for, for a buddy. other defensive players. Really? So they have to vote like you got basically Champ Bailey is voting on what quarterback goes in and you know what I mean? It's it's interesting. Well, Just I mean, let's keep that would, in mind. They would know who's playing really they good. They would know, but in some cases, like, you know, how does Champ Na- Bailey know about, like, the best guard in the league? Maybe he's one of the guys who voted, for instance, Jeff Saturday. Jeff Saturday? Are what you the kidding hell? me? The guy got benched in his own team, and yet he's going to make the Pro Bowl. Which is the Green Bay Packers for people who didn't even yeah. know if Jeff Saturday was still in the league. Uh, uh, let's talk about, yeah. All right, so he's on the line. He leads the line. He's the center. Yep. Okay, so he's on the line that gave up, one, the most sacks in the NFL. Yeah. Behind Aaron Rodgers, who's a mobile quarterback. He's, you know, pocket savvy. He knows what's going on. Who is also and in the And then, Pro Bowl. oh, it's not like they have a, a stellar running game that they, they're known for. How did Jeff Saturday get into the to the Pro Bowl? Shame on you if you voted for him. Yeah, people, what are Shame you thinking? Shame on you. What are you thinking? Did Another, you just watch a Peyton Manning commercial a few years th- ago and basically. think that, ooh, Jeff Saturday looks like a nice guy or yeah, he, when he tells you what his name like is before nice the game? Guy. They want him to go to Hawaii. It's something like that. No numbers support Jeff Saturday. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It it's, it's atrocious. The, the, it, they're trying to make the Pro Bowl something, and this is the way is, the, 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 to kill the Pro Bowl yeah. is bring in just guys that are like, oh, Jeff Saturday, he's a nice guy. He's a nice is, addition. No, he's a piece of crap. This is exactly why they're talking about getting rid of the Pro Bowl. Um, another big snub is Richard Sherman, the guy oh, of who course. You know, led the NFC. I think he like, Optimus Prime, yeah, I think. And then picks. Um, completely shut down his side. Uh, one of the more physical guys and just all around uh Great. I know that there was some sort of like incident that he had to deal with at the end well, of the season, which kind of played a part was the in PEDs, it. PEDs. They, you know, they he had the drug scandal, which he ended up being acquitted of. So it didn't. But I, I'm just so that probably did maybe play it, a, they didn't want to put a mind. black eye on it. You know, like they're not putting Michael Vick right. in the Pro but it's Bowl. It's not at all like that. I know, but I'm just saying, like they don't want to put. A, it's like a, I think it's more like a substance abuse thing that people were afraid of. That he was like, you know. I mean, he was he, uh, acquitted of everything. Right. So, I mean... Clearly, the guy deserves to be there regardless. Just getting screwed out and of the then, position. This is another one, too. Uh, well, I'm, I'm torn on this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask Kipper You're Cooper's torn? position. All right, because, Buzz, of course, you know, by this time of the year, there's so many people injured. You have so many different people going in and out. And so you got a revolving door Pro Bowl basically at this point. Mm-hmm. Super Bowl players aren't going. That leaves like why would they go? You know, seven get hurt or eight before the Super Bowl. Of course they're not. So somehow on the receiver side, yeah, Calvin Johnson's injured, and so is Brandon Marshall. And so so who's playing? Larry Fitzgerald got invited to the Pro Bowl. Wow. Yeah, I wanted I wanted to see Kippers. Well, I know you like Larry Fitzgerald. Okay, I do too. He's a Hall of Famer. The guy is a great. Well, receiver, I don't know if he's a Hall of Famer yet. Let me give you the, the numbers for a season. Okay. Okay, give me his numbers. And Seventy-one receptions. That's pretty pretty good. That's not Pro Bowl good. No, but I mean, the, for how bad they were. Oh, it's good for the Arizona Cardinals. Yeah. but it's not good for Hawaii compared to not Calvin good Johnson amongst and Marshall. The best. No, not even so, close. So seventy-one receptions, seven hundred and ninety-eight yards. Kind of a down season for eight hundred yards. That's below a thousand. Four touchdowns. Ooh. What about this speaks Pro Bowl to, to uh, you, you who voted he, for him? Okay, he's an ambassador of the league. 
Um, to be, I love f- him. I think he's to be okay. This is great. my point. It's a great play. Maybe it's like the baseball all star game where they're just putting in the most valuable player from each team. And Larry Fitzgerald is the most valuable player from the Arizona Cardinals, is, bar but none. He doesn't deserve to be there based on no, his season. No, of course season not. Stats. Of course not. He doesn't. But you know, there's a few of those years where maybe Derek Jeter shouldn't have gone to the All Star game too. Of course, I know. Reputation gets you. And Cal Ripken, there was a couple of years he shouldn't have gone to the All Star game. Name but they gets you places. It yeah, works in the course. NFL too. Of course, they need to do something about the Pro Bowl though. Well, but they need to add more incentive. More incentive. They need. More going on. They need a better selection. Where Cooper Kipper Cooper, the NFL turns to you. Where you know the, how the do I make not the, exciting anymore? It's how do still, I change it? You know, um, keep it in Honolulu. It? I like the players. Um, Location's beautiful. Lo, yeah, I, I love the <laughs> I love the scenery. I love when they show Doug Flutie surfing. That's one of the better parts. Uh, by the way, if you do turn in this week, make sure you watch everything that Doug Flutie does. Yeah, Doug the Flutie, guy incredible, is, uh, amazing. He's incredible. He can well, do anything. He can do anything. So okay, listen if, to him. Okay, if I'm to fix the Pro Bowl, first thing I would do is I would try to connect to the fans. The problem with the Honolulu site is you're not really connecting with the fans. The, 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 they don't want to. They're not flying out to Honolulu with the players. You have to fly to get out there. Exactly. So and it's at a weird time. Usually, like it's at like five thirty, and like the Super Bowl's the next week, or like in years past, like. You it's, have like it a super- is. It is a weird. It's a weird timing. Everyone else does it midway through. Yeah, I would just. Well, you can't do it midway through I because know. these players put their bodies on the line. They're not going to play a meaningless game for it. nothing. But maybe like or, you make know. it non-meaningless. And or, what I'm thinking too is uh, even like push it back, like a you know maybe even a few months, like in the real off season. Give That's us an something interesting else to idea. like just look at. I'm thinking also they need some sort of they used to do it the skills contest yeah they loved them to do the quarterback like uh, loved watching Drew Blood so uh, like trying yeah, to get to face Dan Marino Young and Brett Favre Dan Marino that was like great watching those guys go through those like you know throw, that, run through yeah. the tires you have to go through everything it was awesome but the now these contest. guys like that's what they do like, so I mean right. it wouldn't be as fun you know all of them are really fast it's like whoa that's a great time oh that's a great time here's what I suggest you do one in the middle of the season okay. A Pro Bowl in the middle of the season, all contact. All contact, you pick the who you're, you want from the best players that are playing. But here's the niche. The Super Bowl is played in the conference that wins the Pro Bowl, much like baseball. Oh, yeah. Well, that would at least give you like, some sort of incentive. That would be like a, a bigger incentive. If you, like Any team that would have a home game in the Super Bowl. Or maybe even they should do that anyway. Even if it's the week before, yeah. Well, they can't do that. They can't because they have to they determine. Can't, they they these... have to determine it before, but like, but you, th- that's like, too bad. That would almost. I mean, it would. I like a, the idea. In a perfect world, it would be nice. It'll never ever happen because they like to say next year the in Super New Bowl Orleans. is going to be in New Orleans. And next right, year in St. It, Louis. They've sold it, you know, for the next six years or something already. So this obviously won't work, but. I think it's. I think ingenious. it's inventive. Personally, it's a cool idea, and it would, like you said, it works for baseball. It gives them something to play for. Baseball has gotten much better since the All Star Game by far, and the Pro Bowl. It's the fans. It's us. We need to make the Pro Bowl good. It's all you doubting fans that say. Yeah, last year everyone was like booing Cam Newton while he was there and stuff. I mean, come on. It's like the, it's the Pro Bowl. Yeah. Enjoy it. Have fun. Go, let, enjoy watching the coach have a good time and talk to his players like they're people. Mm. Enjoy it. You know, everyone's always hating on the Pro Bowl. This game doesn't it's, mean anything. It does. Still, it means something to me. It means something to the fans. It's still the last glimpse you get to see of all the All Stars, all the big faces. And last year, I mean, Brandon Marshall was incredible. Absolutely. And it I pr- mean, some of the catches he made, it was outstanding. And it totally set the tone for him next year, too. Or, yeah, well, you can, this year now, but you can what totally was see next the year. makings of who's going to be good next year. Or what free agent is about to become a free agent and wants yeah, to prove how good he exactly. is in the Pro Bowl? Uh, this is the last time we see these guys for the rest of the year. It's You're, still a game. It's, it's still a football game. So enjoy it, and we're still gonna break it down like it is a football game. So let's let's check out some numbers. Yeah, let's let's go. Let's, let's check the numbers on this one. Check the numbers. Check the game tape. Check the game tape. All right, so we're looking at this one: uh, NFC versus AFC. Yep. Um, for the year, these are a couple year stats. Give me some numbers that are gonna blow my mind. These will blow your mind. My mind needs to be blown. It's gonna be. Get ready. Brace yourself. Okay. I'm going to New Orleans, so my <laughs> mind needs to be blown. <laughs> it does. It does. Ahead of time. Um, do you ever not go to Hawaii? By the way, that would have been better. 
Though the game isn't as good. Uh, listen, the, co- right, the company we it. work for isn't going is to get, get those bolt, tickets. Right. Okay. Hotels there? Are you kidding? <laughs> the players are getting are at the hotels yeah. there. You think you can, we can get a suite? Well, let me get to the stat. Okay. okay so let I'm me sorry. blow your mind with this. Uh, for the year, for, for going for net points now, mm-hmm. the NFC plus 347. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. AFC... Minus 357. That's a 700 point advantage to That's the NFC. Terrible. That's terrible. That looks to me like the NFC's got all of the firepower. They're not getting the abuse. Now, granted, granted, 214, uh, minus 214, I should say, is accounted for by the Kansas City Chiefs. And Another 300. They have like, do they have anybody in the Pro Bowl? Um, is Jamal, Jamal Charles. Charles? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. But Jamal he Charles. wasn't the reason why they had so many negative points. No, that was their defense. He did everything he could to. to and keep on them the in-game. flip side of that, the 49ers have the best defense in the NFC, and they're not. None of their players are going to be contributing yeah, in this game. I know a Kipper kind of pointed that out to me because he, he's kind of on the AFC side in this one. I'm. He, he was saying that right. The six defensive starters for the for the NF, uh, NFC yeah, the deep. are from San Francisco. None of those guys are going to be there, so you're right. A couple offensive linemen that are really good players are going to yeah. be there. Um, Ayu Potty isn't going to... So you're right. I mean, they why got was, some, uh, some holes to fill, but I still think, you know, you can see by those numbers, plus 700 for the NFC. Well, the NFC definitely ruled and then, the and then AFC season-wise. Also led by this next stat that's going to, you know, blow your, your, your panties off. All or, right, let's hear it. I don't, <laughs> I don't wear panties, but okay. Uh, the NFC winning 39... Uh, 39 games to the AFC 25. So 39 and 25 in favor of the a- uh, NFC as far as head-to-head matchups. They really, really... Well, top to bottom, the NFC is definitely better. They better. They are better. But the AFC... They have better players. More they got- no, the AFC has better... Okay. Their problem... The NFC's NFC, problem is they're depleted. They're depleted, and the AFC has better vets. Oh, yeah. Well, that's definitely true. You know, you're going to see Peyton Manning out there. But you who know? cares? It's not like we need like his it, his game management. Well, uh, actually, on a side note of this game, this could be one of the few instances where we have a Manning versus Manning Bowl. We don't know how many more we're going to have of these. That's true. There only so many more head-to-head matchups. Yeah. And, you know, that's true. So we will get to, hopefully, there'll be, you know... I mean, obviously, they are playing in the same game, at least against each other. But I know that it's not going to mean as much as if it was like a regular season game, but... But it still counts for something. It's bragging rights, nonetheless. Yeah, they're, they're out there looking at each other. They want they want that to be that Pro Bowl MVP. Yeah, and also, I'm kind of excited to watch, because, uh, right, Eli gets it because... Uh, oh, Mr. January. Yeah. Um, well, We've dubbed Eli Mr. January exactly. because... Exactly, so this is probably his time. Uh, he might... I'm thinking for me, he's, he's my player of the game for this uh, NFC matchup because occasion. he is Mr. January. He's usually on fire this time of year. This is usually when he leads like a Super Bowl uh, victory. So he'll have to settle for the Pro Bowl. Uh, a little bit less uh, stakes hey, on it. But make I some think money, he, you know, go yeah. get some sun. He's, get some get some tan. He's a pretty pale kid. so He this needs it, both him, him and well. Peyton. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think on the flip side, because of – I think that Peyton Manning – has a really bitter taste in his mouth right now. And just you because have. I think that you, you can't stop him. You can't Ooh. stop Peyton Manning in the Pro Bowl. I know it's ridiculous. So as you're it going sounds. with Peyton. Yeah, Peyton. You can go Eli. I'm going Eli. You're going Peyton. I like this. This is nice. Player I like the game matchup. Yeah, this is a good and that's a that's a good one to watch. Yeah, I mean, this is a great matchup. Yeah. Uh just be, just because it's the Pro Bowl doesn't mean you can't enjoy the game. Right. There's good storylines still. Who's your um, who's your Piece of shit. Yeah, let's keep going with this. On the on the, the flip side of the player of the game, the, not the POG. Look at the POS. The POS. The piece of, piece of shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> on my side, uh, I'm still thinking the NFC is going to win this. Um, AFC, J.J. Watt in a Pro Bowl, defense doesn't do anything, especially the linemen. It's yeah, not like he's going to go across but, the line but he and, can like, swat it. and take out uh, no, Drew Brees or that something. Gonna happen, yeah. That's it's not totally going to happen, though. It's totally not going to happen. Like you said, he might get a hand on a ball, but he's not getting in anyone's face. Absolutely it's not. It's unfortunate that they won't play a little bit harder, and I, I don't see J.J. Watt being a guy who really plays hard at all in this game. So I'm thinking him as my piece of shit, just a complete non-factor. I, on the end. That's a, that's a good call. I'm going to have to go with someone on the NFC side. Oh, yeah, of course. I think that the the lack of all the 49ers is going to be a detriment. But I think that Jeff Saturday, we alluded to it earlier, 
He's not. He's he doesn't not, deserve to. He be doesn't there. deserve to be there. He's gonna be on. He's gonna be over there. It's just gonna be an excuse to like point a camera at him. He's not even gonna play. It's a wasted roster spot. It's joke. Basically, it's junk. It's he's joke. the piece of shit. Giant piece of shit. He epitomizes the problem with the Pro Bowl. Yes, right he now. is the. He is the exact. <laughs> so he, I agree with you on that. He he's the poster child for <laughs> why the Pro Bowl sucks. is referred to as shit. Yeah. And he is shit. You're getting pretty harsh right now. Well, Kipper I'm Cooper just really upset. You know, I feel like Jeff the Pro Saturday. Bowl is a really good game. And Jeff Saturday, you know, shouldn't be there. There's other guys there. way more qualified to be there. All right. Well, we're not going to get too, too, too further into okay, this. Okay. Uh, calm we, down. We're going to leave some space for next week, too. Like I said, we're going to, you know, be here. We'll talk. We're going to actually talk about the, I guess, bigger game, if you really uh, want to call it. The big game. The yeah. big game. Oh, the Super Bowl. Uh, not maybe not as exciting as the Pro Bowl. No, who are we kidding? It's gonna be the it's a gonna great be a, game. It's you gonna be great. It. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Obviously, you tune in. So listen to us too. We're gonna break it down. Um, before we leave Hawaii, though, uh, you know, sometimes people still get hurt in those games. Even yeah. the flag football before. Sometimes they trip getting off yeah. the plane. <laughs> what the hell is gonna go down this week? What's gonna who's gonna ride the Kippers pain train? Okay. This week in the Kippers This is going to be sad because this is going to ruin their vacation in Hawaii. Yeah, completely. They're gonna I don't even to... want to hear this. Okay, so Zane Beatles, the the guard of the AFC side, he's going to bend over he's to... From, t- from Denver. From Denver. You know, Zane Beatles, he's a big guy. You know, he, he had some numbers. He basically had Peyton Manning. You know, he shouldn't... <laughs> he had Peyton Manning and, and He shouldn't teams, really be so. there, but he's going to bend over, try to tie his shoe, torn hamstring, wow. can't play. That sucks. Yeah, it's gonna. Is he gonna be able to like walk around and enjoy the scenery? I mean, he can if he gets one of those rascal things and he like motorized scooter things, he'll be fine. But probably don't even have those on the island. Maybe he can just get some islander to carry him around. Who knows? It's gonna be rough. He's gonna be stuck in like a humid hotel room, just getting room service. Yeah, he's gonna. I feel for him. I hope that. I (laughs) hope it doesn't happen. Well, I, do, but I, I don't mean, want make, these things to happen. I just prognosticate right. them and I see them. I, it's all right. I understand. You're just telling it, calling it as you see it. That's how I see it. That's how you see it. So you think, what do you What do you think for a final score in this game? Um, What's thir- the final score in Honolulu? 42 AFC, NFC 35. That's pretty good. I'm not going to go quite so close, though. I like the 42, but I'm kicking that to the NFC. Okay. AFC, I'm thinking a little bit lower. I'm going to go with a, a pretty crazy score. How about a 26? Uh, I don't know. They, 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 they got too much firepower, but you know what? You have to watch the game. You Check have to the, watch the game. You have to watch it. So, I mean, let's, let's, let's We're see We're going to watch it. You should watch it. We're running out of football here, so watch the game. Listen Enjoy. to us again next week. We'll be back again Wednesday um, Check to us break out. down the Super Bowl. The, yeah, and the, the Harbaugh Bowl, the Harbaugh. <sighs> yeah, hopefully not too snoozy. Um, last time, you know, well, we're not going to talk about it, so forget it. We'll get to it next week. We're going to get to it next week. Follow us on Twitter at Kipper Cooper and at Buzz Birch at uh, Lightning Rod Forty Nine. That's Rod Muttergard. He's our usually a guest host here with us. He's on and off. So either way, check us out on the tweets. Um, we always tweet during game. Hit us up with a uh, you know. Love to hear your comments. Any, any comments? We love to hear feedback. Them. Happy to hear it. Uh, pitch us questions. I'm happy to get anything at all. Thanks for listening. We're going to be back next week uh, coming from New Orleans. So, Oh, man, the Big Easy. Kip Cooper here, as always. As always, with Buzz Birch. This has been Unsportsmanlike. Get it! <laughs>